Updated July 28, 2017 17 hours 12 minutes and 50 seconds There has not been this much excitement and interest in the Constitution since that seminal example of Australian film, The Castle, was released in 1997, but as this seemingly unprecedented citizenship drama sweeps through federal parliament, there is a need to stop and think about just how the High Court could act in figuring out who can and cannot be a politician, Section 44I of the nation's founding document disqualifies someone from office if that person is under any acknowledgement of allegiance, obedience, or adherence to a foreign power, or is a subject or a citizen or entitled to the rights or privileges of a subject or a citizen of a foreign power. The gray area there is the word entitled, does it mean an individual has to actually be a citizen or another country, or just be entitled to claim citizenship? in the future take the kerfuffle over Victorian Liberal MP Julia Banks. Like many Australians, including yours truly, she is the child of migrants. Moz Banks' dad was born in Greece, and became an Australian citizen before she was born. She argues she has never held Greek citizenship, but there is little doubt that by descent she could claim it. Does that mean she is entitled to foreign citizenship, and therefore disqualified under the Constitution justices of the High Court are, by nature of their appointment, some of the wisest legal minds in the land? So supposing how they may rule is fraught, but if the High Court was to start saying everyone entitled to foreign citizenship was ineligible, it would wipe out a swathe of our MPs and Senators who have never tried to claim allegiance to any other county. Surely the Court would have to take into account the practical effect of making that judgment, and the ensuing chaos it would cause. Case law too suggests the need to act on any eligibility. The people who drafted the name nation's constitution more than a century ago were, and yes, this is stereotyping, were generally old white men who would at the time have been counted as British subjects, even as late as the 1940s, they too would find themselves kicked out of Parliament if such an interpretation had needed to be adopted back then, of course, the High Court could take a strict interpretation and say that eligibility for foreign citizenship is enough to disqualify an individual individual, but that would not stop prospective parliamentarians from trying to liberate themselves from any future claim on citizenship. Former Labour MP Alana McTiernan did just that in renouncing her inherited Irish citizenship, saying she also surrendered any potential entitlement in the future, so the High Court will be asked to decide exactly what the vibe of the Constitution is actually meant to be. Topics Government and Politics Federal Government Constitution Parliament Australia First Posted July 28, 2017 16 hours 51 minutes and 9 seconds